Hello there, this is going to be a general love reading for all signs. When we are deep, <clears throat> and I mean deep in eclipse season. We had the, well first of all, let me start off by saying, you guys have heard me say this for years, that eclipses are wild cards. You just never know what the eclipses will bring. Eclipses will eclipse things in, and it'll eclipse things out very tower-like energy. Whew, I got the chaser on the bottom of the deck. No wonder my heart started beating fast. I will take it. Um, so we had the um, full moon in Libra, partial, right? Small eclipse. 24th, 25th, depending where you were in the world, was, you know, the 25th mainly. But you got the biggie coming up on April 8th. That is a total solar eclipse four minutes okay it'll be totally blacked out and only in certain areas obviously will they be able to see it completely blacked out but it's a biggie because it is four fucking minutes so yeah i mean any an, an eclipse energy can last up to six months doesn't mean that it does doesn't mean that it won't doesn't mean that it, won't. it could last up to six months okay very unpredictable energy unexpected there's some kind of a chaser energy coming here. First card was liberation. That's why the chaser is going to kick it into high gear because a bitch says bye. Somebody here says, I'm going to do me. They are clearly connected to somebody with the red string of fate. It's almost as if she, you can see it's very thin. It's almost like she's holding this very thin piece of um, wire right here. You see it? Or a very thin piece of like a, a stick. So it appears that she's not holding on to the red string, but it's still attached to her. But she's almost like saying, c'est la vie, fuck it. Nothing's happening with you, but I know something's gonna happen because I'm destined for it. And this act of liberation, this act of claiming oneself, self-love, I love me, and I know what I deserve creates this chaser energy because this particular chaser may be used to people chasing them. Look at what it fell on. I saw it. That's why I saw it. Oh my fucking God. Is this how we're going to start this up? Okay, here we go. It's a twin flame card. I saw it. Landed on top liberation. Because you see what happens when you claim yourself. How do you get in it into any type of connection with a twin flame, mirror soul, right? Whatever. Uh, by loving the fuck out of your goddamn self. By claiming yourself. By saying, I know what I deserve. By you being self-aware. By you being on a higher vibration. By you not being Delulu. By you working on self people will run their map all the time right and they'll say stuff i'm healed i love myself i'm this but their actions show completely different universe doesn't give a fuck about what comes out of your mouth the universe cares about your actions are you kind or do you pretend to be kind and and you're not you're just nice because nice doesn't equal kind a cruel person can be nice kindness is totally different it's a whole different vibration the bitch claims herself and says, I love me wholeheartedly. And I'm not trying to prove that to anybody. I'm not trying to put on a show for anybody. I'm just living my best life, loving the fuck out of me, wishing the best for other people, clapping for other people. You see, this is the issue here is a lot of people, because they're going through a storm, they can't be happy for people that are not in a storm. And that says everything about you and your vibration. Because those of us that are in a higher vibration, even when we're in a storm, we are still cheering and clapping for those who aren't. Misery loves company. You heard that before? You know you did. Misery loves company. I don't like to fox with people that cannot be happy for me when the sun is shining. They only likes to fox with me when the sun ain't. Or they only likes to fox with me when they feel good and happy. Motherfucker, we all in this. Some days is good, some days is bad. But we ride hard no matter what. 
See that kind of shit? She's saying, fuck everybody that don't got me like I got them. It's a clip season. We're claiming ourselves. Oh, when I give you good news about me, or when I reach out to you to try and make plans, or when I'm there for you, or when I put energy and effort into this connection, friendship, business, family, romantic, and you don't do that for me, fuck you. And we don't say that in a way of being bitter and vengeful. We say it in the way of saying, bye. I don't need that in my life. It's weighing me down. Energy is contagious. I don't want that shit in my life. You know, we've worked way too hard to maintain a high vibration, to let people be around us that don't love us through every phase. That's what she's saying. She's saying, fuck this and fuck that and fuck them. Wish you well, boo-boo. Clapping for you, praying for you, cheering for you, rooting for you. But, I, but you got to go over there. Because you tainted my shit over here. Because even if it's sunny here or it's raining and it's storming here, I'm still going to be happy for you, but you can't be happy for me. That's for those of you that are dealing with friendships, friendships, right, acquaintances and shit. I'm telling you right now, the biggest way to sniff out a person is how they treat you when you can't do nothing for them, when you're happy about your own news, that's good news, and, and those types of situations. Because if they can only be a friend to you when they're in a good mood, because only when their shit's popping and they're happy, what the fuck is that? I'm sorry, boo-boo. Are there days that we are having a bad day and we just need our space? Yes, but that's different. See, many of you guys are sitting there going, mm-hmm. See, you can't bamboozle us at the end of this journey. You can't fucking con us and scam us into thinking that our mentality of that is wrong because it's not because we know the goddamn difference. We know the difference between some days I just got to breathe and I'm dying and I'm hanging on by a thread and I can't be of help and service to nobody. That's different compared to somebody who don't got your ass Ever, unless they got something from you and they can get something from you or because they're fucking happy and that's just the way they roll. See what I'm saying? You can't con us. You can't bamboozle us. We know the goddamn difference. This feminine is cutting off everybody that is not rocking with her the way they should be, the way she rock with them. Honey, and nobody is excluded. Romantic, friendship, family, business. Everybody fucked. Now, the chaser energy here is romantic because I can feel it, okay? It is romantic. There is somebody here that gets chin checked. That was the bridge. It's a connection card. See that? What is that? That's uniting. The connection here is all about bridging the gap. If there is separation or no communication between you and a person, they want to bridge that. That's where the chaser energy comes in. They're going to chase that ass and bridge the fucking gap, period, okay, period. Now, you cannot get distracted because sometimes people are going to chase you temporarily just to derail you and distract you, and they ain't got no intentions of having nothing with you. See what I'm saying? You got to be able to tell the difference. All I know is right now, somebody just wants to bridge the gap. Self-love. I just went all off about that. I went all off about that, right? Girl power, self-love. Because right now, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I love me. I do love you, but I love me more. And I will not take your inconsistency. I won't take your hot and cold, back and forth, in and out, right? Again, we don't give a fuck if it's friendship or romance. I don't care. We are we have been, we are too far at the end of this journey. We have been through hell and back 17 times. We don't give a fuck. I'm sorry, boo-boo. We all are going through it. Everybody to a different degree. Some people are going through it worse, but we all got our issues. Everybody got sunny days. Everybody got rainy days. I cannot fuck with people that cannot pull through their own shit and want to rain on your shit and your parade. I can't do it. <coughs> I'm an aqua too. You know, I test people. 
I throw bait in the water because I want to see their reaction. Because I need to know, you fucking with me or you fucking with me? If you're an aqua, you know how we do. We play dumb. It's a clip season, honey. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to smoke them out. Let the universe smoke them out. Because the universe is pounding the fuck out of people right now. Right? They are. This, it's eclipse season. It's tower-like energy. The, 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 the energy is, is pounding the fuck out of them. Let, let the universe smoke them out. And as an aqua, if you are aqua like me, you know how we do. We play dumb. Back in the day, we didn't. We would call people out immediately, and then it would ruin it. Because we don't know, we don't know what their true intentions really were. We knew what their intention was, the direction they was going in. But we like to know. I like to know. What's going on here? Huh. You only like me when I can give you something? That's when you're nice to me? Hmm. When it's raining over here, you don't give a fuck? Hmm. But when it's raining over there, I'll be handing you an umbrella. Hmm. You see what I'm saying? We cannot be bamboozled. If you ever think you're playing me, that's where you got me fucked up and you just fucked up yourself. Because like Prince said, a person who try and play me is playing themselves. We do not put ill will out for people. What we say is, you are digging your own grave, okay? That's all you're doing. I ain't got shit to do with me. I'm just kicking back watching, watching the show. I'm just cutting people off that ain't reciprocating. I'm not putting no vengeful shit out there. Because remember, what you put out, you get back tenfold. People wonder why they're constantly being slammed. Well, what are you putting out there? Are you happy for people even when it's raining on you, in, in your face? How come you can't? If you say you're at a higher vibration, you should be able to, even with tears in our eyes. Even when my heart's broken, how many times have I put my shit on the side for you? For collective readings, general readings, for personal readings, for friends? I can do it, so can you, so I don't take no fucking excuses from people because I've done it thousands and thousands of times. I can't even count how many times I've done it and continue to do that. See how we don't give a fuck? There's no, we, there's no excuses. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My grandparents passed away. And the day of, next day already, they, I had to do my job and I had to channel and I had to do readings. And people are up our ass, right? This is why even with clients, you guys know in your business situations, God forbid we fall behind. God forbid I, I, I'm in a hole of something. These bitches are relentless. But where were they when they needed me? They don't give a fuck though because now that I can't give them their order quick enough, give them their reading quick enough because I'm not telling them what they want to hear now, then, when they thought they're supposed to get it, they'll drop me like a fucking sack of potatoes. There's no grace given to me in most situations. Again, let people show their ass. Let them show their ass. I love it when a person gets snippy and mad at me and asks for a refund for their order. Because thank you for giving me no grace. I appreciate that. That's on the record. Put it in the Akashic Records. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For the countless times I have given my fucking self to people. With my last breath of hope, I gave out here. And I had none for myself. Thank you for giving me grace and patience when I needed it. Appreciate it. Put it in the Akashic Records. <laughs> I would like that entered as exhibit A through Z, please. See where we're at right now? Self-love. It's okay if you don't like me. It's okay if you don't root for me. It's okay for all of those things. I love me, I root for me. Something big as fuck is brewing. And dare I say, it's very twin flamey. And I'm not talking about the generic twin flame shit that we have been, you know, taught to believe back when our journey first fucking started. There it is. Perfect match. Because it's a mirror cell. Someone equally yoked. Someone on the same fucking vibration. Late night communication always comes up. Because I feel that's when they always think about the person. Late at night. And they want to know what the fuck you doing late at night. Devotion. This person is obsessed and devoted. Commitment. Look at that. Commitment. If you guys saw, if you follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi, I was sharing the pictures of my very um, unexpected <clears throat> stay in Wailea on Maui. And there was a gorgeous chapel on property. Fucking unreal chapel. 
the Waldorf Astoria in Wailea. Honey, it was breathtaking. I saw it, I almost fainted. There was a clock tower on it, and you guys know one of my cards is a clock tower, and I've been channeling that kind of shit forever. They come at the midnight hour. And it was such confirmation for me that this is it. Here we are. You know what I mean? A fucking gorgeous chapel there, like what? <laughs> With a clock tower on it? I'm sorry, what? With a rainbow in the stained glass window? I'm sorry, what? Bitch, when I tell you, I was speechless. I was speechless. There's the commitment. Whoever this person is, this chaser, is going to stop self-sabotaging their fucking ass. And they're coming. And devotion tells me that they're finally going to put 111% into this. Because they might feel you slipping away. They're not stupid. These are fucking smart ass individuals. They're not stupid. I'm sorry, they're not. Okay? These are very smart people, very intellectual, and they're very highly in tune to your energy if you're twin souls or however you want to call it, right? That means that they can feel you. They can feel when you're slipping away. They can feel when you're happy. They can feel when you're sad. They can also feel when another motherfucker is coming in. You have the hanged man. I heard just wait one second. That's what I heard in my head. You ever heard somebody tell you, <coughs> tell you like that? Oh, just wait one second. And you're like, <coughs> uh, what? Oh, okay. Just hold on. Just give me one second. That's what I heard. Just give me one second. I got the five of pentacles. You know, this masculine feels kind of like left out. But they put themselves there. <clears throat> During this waiting period for many of you where there was a gap, right? Remember earlier was about wanting to bridge the gap. If there was a gap, they were feeling fucking left out. They were feeling out in the cold. But who put them there? They did. Self-sabotaged it. Not you. King of Cups, here we fucking go. Here we go. Here the fuck we go. King of Cups is what? somebody who's feeling emotions they're finally admitting the way they feel they've been sitting with these emotions his eyes are closed refusing to see it hoping it was gonna go away it did not it did not it's almost like the universe is saying to you hold on just one second let me go and actually let me go and actually consult with this motherfucker right here. That's what it feels like to me. Let me go and see what the fuck. Let me go and check in on them. Let me check their vibration. Let me check what the hell they got going on. Let me go and check what, what's happening over her. And that's what I think it is. Hold on just one second. I'll be right with you. There's some sort of a checkup right now with this masculine energy. Yep, they're trying to see if he's ready. There's a nine of cups. Look at him. Universe says, just give me one second, okay? Let me, let me just see if they're, if they're ready. See them ready sitting at the table with the table set? Nine of cups. So, <laughs> so you can't even make it up. Look, I swear to God, it's how they said, let me go one second. I just, I'll be right back. Checking on this ass to see if they're ready. Because if they're not ready, bypassing, going on to the next one. Something about during this eclipse season, it's giving this one the chance. They're saying, you in, motherfucker, or you out? You ready or you not? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Very churchy, very wedding, very marriage. Okay, because if you don't say nothing, we're going to go in this direction. She's going to go here. He's going to go in this direction. You better speak fucking now or forever hold your peace. See how his eyes are closed and his mouth is closed. He's not saying anything. This energy is speak now or you forever hold your peace. Because we're not fucking around with this shit. You make up your mind. You be consistent. You, you come in, you, you do. You don't, you don't. We're not playing around. It's almost like the universe is backing you and saying, we're not fucking around with you no more, buddy. What is it? And you you got one chance now. What is it? Speak now or forever hold your peace. So you gonna say it? No? Okay, bye. You gonna say it? Yeah? Okay. Here we go, guys. Here we go. So it's almost as if they're just waiting. You ever went to a restaurant to check in and they go, let me see if your table's ready. 
you know what, your table's not ready. We're gonna go put you over here. That's what this feels like. Let me go check and see if your table's ready. AKA, is the fucker ready? A fucker not ready? Okay, you know what, we're gonna put you over here. We're gonna give you the best seat in the house. The reserve VIP section, the section that only the dignitaries sit at, you know what I'm saying? The section that's only for the owners of the shit, you know what I'm saying? Off limits, but you get, you get all access to it. That's what this feels like. Speak now or forever hold your motherfucking peace. Oh, there's the two of cups. Someone's speaking up. <laughs> Are they? Are they speaking up or is this the universe giving you someone new? You see how it don't fucking matter whether it's them or it's not. You gonna get this two of cups. There's some sort of like love connection that's coming for you. So does it really matter? I know some of you are saying it does matter because I want this fucker. You want this fucker because you didn't see yet what's coming. Yeah, this is the one you want. This is everything. This is you and them equally yoked. Yada who, yada ha. But they got to pull up their shit. They got to come in at the high vibration as you or you're not a match. You wouldn't be a perfect match. If they choose to cop out and choose free will, the universe is going to set you up with somebody beyond your wildest dreams. Almost in a sense, you kind of want this one to cop out because you're like, oh my God, what's going to be coming if they cop out? What do you mean? Like how great? Like who? Like what? You know what I'm saying? Like, wait a minute. Hold on. You mean I'm going to get even better? Like, well, let's wait. Huh? Can I see a preview of that? They're like, no. You can't see a preview of it. It's this one. And if not this one, don't worry. We got you all hooked up. We'll hook you up. I mean, it make a bitch wonder. Well, do I want this one then? Shit. Eight of wands. There's movement. I'm sorry. There's so much fucking noise outside. This was the quietest neighborhood I've ever moved into. And it turned into now the loudest fucking neighborhood I've ever lived in. I don't know how that's happened, but here we are. Ignore the noise. It's distractions. See the eight of wands? See that right there? See how it's all action. Eight of Wands is also communication. Somebody's got a lump in their fucking throat right now because they want to sing like a goddamn canary. Queen of Swords, yep. Yeah? And there she is going, I wish a motherfucker would. I wish a motherfucker would say some shit. They know that you sit in their cross leg with your goddamn sword ready for fucking war. It's every season. You're war ready. Because see why they're a little hesitant. But the universe is pressuring this person. Speak now. You better speak now. Especially because there's going to be this energy of weddings and marriage and union blowing in. Okay, they're going to imagine you engaged, walking down the aisle with someone that's not them. If that's not enough for them to say, fuck that, I want them, they're mine, that's my person. If that's not enough for them, I don't know what is, but right now everything is screaming, marriage, weddings, um, unexpected proposals like you could be single today and be engaged in a month because there will be no waiting period when it's the right one some people will wait five years to get engaged and then get divorced after a year of marriage it's not about the time period some people jump into things and it's horrendous right but see i feel like if you're coming in with high vibration you have a very good idea of what is and what ain't you ain't gonna get engaged to somebody after only a month that's a fuck face because if he a clown, you a clown too. Three of wands. He's waiting. Ah, oh, he was waiting on the side, keeping everything to himself. The hermit hiding it. The hermit is also Virgo energy. They were hiding it. They were hiding their feelings. They overweighted is what I just heard. Meaning they waited too long. There were many an opportunity for them to say some shit and they didn't say shit. They waited too long. And then the moment passes and then they don't know where to begin from there. They don't know what to say. You know what I mean? So there were many an opportunity for them to say it at that right moment. They didn't do it. And then they kind of go, well, it's weird now if I were to say it now. Ten of Pentacles. Look at that. It's the whole fucking fairy tale. Walking off into the sunset happily ever after. And this is fucking marriage. Kiss your bride. You know what I'm saying? Like that's, they know that. They know that it is breathing down your neck. Commitment. 
with or without them. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? With or without them. By the cups and they do not want it to be without them i can tell you that right now i think that they imagined in their head you with someone else and them having to be confronted by you with someone else and it's like a stab in the heart to them because it's like the reality is they could go be with someone else and not me and what will that feel like look at the nine of swords this is what that's going to feel like it's going to be torturous for them they can't sleep at night. They get really upset and mad when they think about it and they are imagining it. Um, they feel anxious. And again, they have that lump in their throat. Holy fuck, the Ten of Cups too? What did I tell you? It's You guys are going to get this. It's screaming in the air. It's manifesting. A fairy tale happily ever after with someone that you are going to live the rest of your life with. This true love sort of a vibration, okay? And it's with or without them. You see what I'm saying? Look at this shit. With or without you, motherfucker. Okay? This is where we're at, and this is what they're feeling. All the signs have been screaming it. Marriage, wedding, union. Okay, everything screams it. They gotta, they gotta, it's now or never. I mean, basically it's bottom line here. Five of wands. They don't wanna have competition. They can feel competition coming, though. For some of you, competition has already arrived, and it's going to be a motherfucker, man. Woo! Ascending higher, and that's exactly what they need to do. Raise their vibration to meet yours, right? Rise up, making your mark. Bitch, you have imprinted on this motherfucker. Dating. Woo! They are so worried about you dating other people. It just infuriates them at the thought. They probably are like so upset. They don't even want to look at your social media, but then they do because their gut tells them to fate. Well, you're just, are you fated? Now they're going to start saying that. Well, I think we're like meant to be, you know, you're all like, shut up, walk, walking away. The first date, you know, because if you walk away, you know exactly what's going to happen. You're going to go out on a down first date with somebody else and then they're going to cry. You don't have to Google. I love to say this because it's so funny. You're going to have to Google how to stop crying. Friendship. Yeah, they're going to be in the friend zone. But also for those of you, I'm telling you right now, you better check your circle tight. You better keep your circle tight. You better check it well too. Keep your circle tight. It's eclipse season. They're going to show their ass. I promise you because the eclipse is going to pound the fuck out of people. It's going to squeeze them. They're going to be in and out their feelings. They're going to treat you some type of way. Watch. Watch after eclipse season is done. We'll, we'll, I'll ask you about it again. Watch. Just one of those times where it is sad and disheartening. Because, you know, sometimes you think you have a better, a deeper connection with a person than you thought, friendship or romantic. And it doesn't end up being the case. And it's sad, but it's life. Let them show you to ass. Exotic. The fuck was that? Hold on, I don't like all that. You guys know exotic means strange and fascinating and foreign. Ceremony. There's the marriage again. They're imagining you walking down the aisle. A visitor arrives. I bet, I bet they do. I bet they fucking do. I bet there's a knock on that damn door. I bet there's a phone call. There's a I bet it is. Hey, stranger. Just checking to see how you're doing. Hey, what's up? I bet there fucking is. For some it's a new person too. Paper roses. Something ain't what it fucking seems. That could be fake friendships too. See that right there? Fake connections. Told you. We can, see, we can sniff it out. It's eclipse season. Surprise. That's eclipse season. A surprise. 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 Hidden truths. Surprise, surprise. This is going to be straight across the board. Hidden truths in friendships. Hidden truths in romantic connections. The truth about to come out because the eclipse is going to do that. Eclipses things in and it eclipses things out, bitch. I hope you're ready. Let's get into this extended. If you want to rent it, click below this video the word more. It's going to bring up all my links. There you will see that first one. Go to it. It's going to take you to my website. 
Look for the extended readings and then the special love slash oracle readings. Follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. Thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. I will see you there. Love you. Bye.